Ever since Meghan Markle became the Duchess of Sussex, she hasn't publicly talked about her father, former Hollywood lighting director Thomas Markle. But, at the same time, he hasn't been able to keep quiet about their broken relationship. Thomas has said during multiple interviews that he has no way of contacting his daughter, but a new report claims that simply isn't true. A longtime friend of Meghan's told People magazine recently that Thomas knows exactly how to get in touch with the former Suits actress. He knows how to get in touch with her. Her telephone number hasn't changed, says the friend. He's never called, he's never texted. It's super painful because Meg was always so dutiful. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what he's done. And at the same time, because she's a daughter, she has a lot of sympathy for him. Things started to go downhill for Thomas and Meghan just one week before her wedding to Prince Harry on May 19, 2018. Meghan had planned for her dad to walk her down the aisle, but he backed out after a paparazzi scandal revealed Thomas had staged photo shoots. After the wedding, Meghan's half-sister Samantha Markle claimed responsibility for the paparazzi arrangement and spoke critically of the Duchess. Thomas also had his own press tour and repeatedly talked about his daughter's personal life and claimed that Meghan wouldn't talk to him. But, according to five close friends, neither Meghan nor Harry ever thought of ending communication with Thomas after the scandal, and it was Thomas who wouldn't take Meghan or Harry's calls. Friends also claim that Meghan wrote Thomas a letter after the wedding, telling him that she was heartbroken and she loved him. She also asked her father to stop victimizing her through the media. Meghan wants to fix the relationship with her father, says her friends. But, when Thomas responded to Meghan's letter with a long one of his own, he ended it by requesting a photo op. The sources added that Meghan and her half-sister Samantha do not have a relationship and they have never been part of each other's lives. When Meghan was born, Samantha was in her late teens, so there is no truth to the narrative that the two were once close and then had a falling out. The source added that Samantha had used the last name Grant for years. And, it wasn't until Prince Harry started dating Meghan that she used Markle so she could capitalize on Meghan Markle's fame.